All right, hey guys, so I'm back again spinning the wheel. If you're unfamiliar with this, we're just gonna be picking a random game from my Steam library to play. Uh, currently, I own 5,357 games on Steam, so there is quite the selection to choose from. Uh, so here we go, we're just gonna spin and see what we land on. Tricone Lab sounds like a puzzle game, but I really have no idea, uh, so I'll be right back. All right, so before I get into the game, I just wanted to show you a couple things. Um, this game came out November 12th, 2015, and unfortunately, there's only two people who bought the game through Steam and left a review for it, uh, which is kind of depressing, honestly. <laughs> this game's been out for like almost a year and a half, and um, only two people bought the game on Steam and reviewed it, and that's really sad. Uh, it's an early access game, it costs $10, and scrolling down here, you can see there's actually 52 reviews total, but 50 people um, apparently got it through like a bundle, like Indie Gala or something like that. So uh, yeah, this game obviously isn't popular, but judging from the reviews, there's only two negative and 50 positive, so hopefully the game will be good. So let's go ahead and switch over to the gameplay screen. Um, there we go. So I have no idea what I'm looking at. Uh, I've never played this game. This is the first time launching it. Uh, so let's go ahead and start. This is a puzzle game. Click here. Synthesis. Music's kind of loud. Drag from here to here. Oh, wait, I have to drag. All right, so are we like in a cell? That's what it looks like. Double click here, level completed. All right, so. This is really weird, like the, uh, <laughs> the animation or whatever. It's just all like vibrating all over the place. Um, all right, next level, double synthesis, click to continue. All right, so we're just like dragging things over. Oh, and then we do it again. All right, so far it's pretty freaking easy. Um, I wonder how you fail. Let's go to this one, twisty synthesis. Oh wait, we have to go all the way around. It seems really freaking easy. I mean, I'm not really even doing anything. I'm just like dragging um, around. I don't know. I guess I, I guess we are in some sort of cell like the mitochondria or whatever. It's been a long time since I've been in a biology class. Uh, double click that. Okay, so far it's the easiest game I've ever played. <laughs> All right, so we break this, we break this, we break this, and then we do this and this and this. I hope it gets harder. Load next map, breakers, okay. So here's the next map. Okay, so it's going to be a little bit more challenging now. So these are like bombs, and you have to attach them to the black lines. I mean, it's still like super freaking easy. <laughs> Triple move. Oh, wait. I have to restart? Okay. Oh, okay, so I can jump over lines, and then I just blow that up. Matching moves. Okay, so now it's getting a little bit more complex. I'm actually kind of liking this now. Um, sorta. Like, not, not a whole lot. Um, but it's interesting. Okay, so I'm gonna move this here, and I'm gonna move it here, and I'm gonna move it over here. There we go. Blow this up. Attach that. That's done. And then we have to... I guess we'll move this one here, and then to here, blow that up. So some of the bombs can only be moved a certain number of times, and that's why I had to like kind of strategize that. Uh, the bomb on the far left side had three, so I had to move that across the map, and the other ones didn't have as many. Like see this bomb here, the one with a little Z, these are bombs, and uh, basically, if there's three black dots, it can move three times across the black lines, if that makes sense. Hopefully that makes sense. Um, so from what I'm seeing here, I think I need to move this 
Hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna need to move this bomb down to here. And then we're gonna blow up this section, I think. Can we blow up both sections? Nope. Well, actually, I may have screwed up already. Let's blow that up, see what happens. Um, yeah, it looks like I screwed up. I like how the, the blob kind of expands once you blow up a line. That's pretty cool. Um, and I need, I certainly need to restart now. Um, yeah, okay, how do I restart? Restart. I think I got it. I think I need to move this here, and then here, and then down to here, and blow that up, and then we'll move this one to here. Wait, we have to blow this up too. What does this do? Nothing? That's just a tricone. Um, hmm. For some reason, I'm like stumped here. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. No. I mean, how would I. Like, I'm just like completely fooled here. <laughs> what is this? Nothing. Ooh. Um. Oh no, there's probably just like a super easy solution. I'm just not seeing it. Uh, so I have to like break open um, that red triangle in the bottom left corner and then the blue triangle up here. I thought I was supposed to move this like, I can only move three times. So like one, two, three, one, two, three. Like there's just no way, not from what I'm seeing anyway. Unless, I feel like I'm supposed to use this to blow open this wall. Maybe that's it. Oh yeah, that's it, okay. <laughs> I just wasn't thinking straight. There we go. <laughs> that one kind of confused me a little bit. I'm not very good at puzzle games, by the way. Um, but they're enjoyable um, for a time, for a short time. Like puzzle games like this, in my opinion, they're fun at the beginning when they're like more casual and then they get super freaking hard later on and then I just can't play them anymore. <laughs> kind of like The Witness, if anyone's ever played The Witness. Um, that game is really fun early on, but then it gets so complicated and so repetitive that I'm just like, no, I'm not gonna be writing numbers down on a notepad to figure out how to solve your puzzle. Um, this one seems fairly easy. Yeah, um, wait. Did I fail? I failed. Crap. What did I do wrong? <laughs> Maybe I go here first. Blow that up. Oh, yeah. Then go here, blow that up. Then what? There's still this line here that I can't... Okay. Doing something wrong. Maybe I just need to... Maybe, like, this bomb needs to go here and then here. There we go. Now there's two on each one. Ah, oh, this is it. Got it. Game is, uh, rather, um, challenging. This is actually a pretty good, uh, puzzle game. Like, I came into it expecting it to be pretty bad, just because the graphics are very, very, like, simplistic. Um, you have gained a tricone key. Getting keys unlocks new maps to play. Sweet. So here's all the maps. Wow, there's a lot of content, for sure. I don't think I'm going to be playing too much more of this, just because, like, puzzle games like this aren't super enjoyable for me personally. I'm not, like, a big puzzle game player. I do enjoy puzzle games, but they really have to be kind of special and uh, innovative. Um, this game is pretty different, though. Um, let's see. Drag... What is this? Synthesize? Oh, we just made a bomb. So it's adding new mechanics. So you can make 
You can make bombs by dragging these over. Ah, sweet. Pretty cool. Alright, so I think I'm done with this game. I don't want to play it for too long. Um, but yeah, pretty good game. I would I would recommend this. If you're um, into puzzle games, this is actually pretty fun. It, um, let me read the store page real quick. Um, I forgot to do that. I wonder if you're like actually in a cell. You interact with the elements of a microscopic organism. Yeah, okay, cool. So yeah, this is a pretty fun game. I would definitely recommend this if you're looking for a puzzle game. Um, it is $10 though. I don't know if you guys saw that on the store page. I did mention that briefly. Um, let me just go back to the store page real quick. If I can. Um, I might have to close the game out. Hold on. There we go. So here's the store page. It's an early access game. Um, I'm surprised it's still in early access even though it's been out for like a year and a half. That's kind of odd. Some games just never leave early access it seems. Um, and it's 10 bucks. 10 bucks is pretty pricey and as you can see it, it has never gone on sale on Steam. I don't know what the developer is thinking. Um, this is one of those games that you would like expect to be about a dollar but it's ten dollars and it's never gone on sale and it's still in early access and you're just thinking to yourself like what? <laughs> Um, but whatever, developers have the option not to price their game, uh, whatever they choose. And, um, if the developer watches this, I just want to tell him that you're not going to get any sales at 10 bucks. This game is not worth 10 bucks, at least in my opinion. Uh, I think it's worth more like 250, maybe less. Um, but it is kind of enjoyable. Um, I think it's, uh, it's an interesting game and there's a map editor too, so... Um, yeah, I was kind of surprised. I was expecting something far worse. I mean, if you just look at the, um... The store page, just looking at the store page, looking at the images, you're just like, this game is made by like a toddler. This looks horrible. Um, but once you get into it, the mechanics are actually pretty fun. So that's all I have to say. Thanks for watching. And until next time, I'll, um, wait, I don't know what I'm even saying. <laughs> until next time, have a nice day.